I got interested in the Mastery Project when 18 months ago some primary colleagues and secondary colleagues went across to Shanghai to um, look at teaching um, in primary schools in Shanghai. Um, a lot of the theory behind it really underpinned my philosophy in, in teaching mathematics and, and so I applied and luckily got onto the, the project. And so I applied on behalf of my school, went through the application process, went through an interview and we were successful for that. So there was a briefing in Nottingham that we went to, they gave us an idea of what sort of things we need to be looking for when we touched down in Shanghai. Um, but until that point it still seemed a little bit unreal and uh, quite, quite far away into the future. When I went to Shanghai I tried to go with no expectations at all. Um, obviously I had in my mind what my students were like, the programme that I'd seen on the BBC, and I just wanted to go with a completely open mind. I had a few preconceptions about what things were going to be like in China and in Shanghai, uh, and a couple of those bore out in reality, and a lot of them did not. As we saw, the, the, the kids were expertly behaved and exceedingly well behaved, um, but during their break times and outside of school, they are just kids, and they behave exactly the same way our kids do. Uh, for me, mastery is all about um, kids having this deeper understanding of the concepts they're being taught. Um, it's like learning to drive or learning to play the piano or anything like that. It is, you've mastered the basic skills before you move on to the more difficult skills. What we were seeing that was so effective in the, in the Shanghai classroom was that the pupils would be started off on something fairly straightforward that they could all access. Something that harked back to prior learning to yesterday's lesson uh, and then it would get a bit harder and a bit harder and a bit harder and actually by the end of the lesson it had got much much harder than and much much deeper if you like into the into the abstract and into the concept than we would probably have done over the course of four lessons even with a top set year 11 class. So for teachers that come in for the open day uh, they can expect to see a Shanghai style lesson uh, delivered to our students and see how uh, it is the teaching that makes a difference as opposed to the, the kind of culture and the, the students themselves. Um, they will get a, a deep insight into the Chinese teaching methods and the ideology. All of this is really difficult to explain but it's really easy to show. When you come to the academy you'll get the opportunity to see the Shanghai teachers teaching lessons but you'll also get to sit and speak to those teachers afterwards and really find out about their experiences of, of teaching mastery in Shanghai.